I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. So, brothers and sisters, that's one of the dreams slash experiences that I said I wanted to share with you guys in the video that I posted a couple days ago. And I just believe that it serves as another confirmation. I feel in my heart that the Lord is very, very, very close to coming and rapturing his bride, his children. Just like in my dream, he was leading this small group of people up the staircase to the gate where this castle was. And in my dream, it was a small group. And I believe I saw a small group because it's like Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life and only a few find it. And they were almost to the gate when I woke up. But Jesus was also leading them uh, by this. He was holding a torch in his hand as this group followed closely behind him. And that reminds me of John 8, 12. The, uh, then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Because he is our light of life. And, and like I just mentioned in my dream, it was kind of dark. But he was guiding uh, this group up the path, holding this uh, brightly lit torch.
So I found the dream absolutely beautiful. It it looked like a page out of a storybook. And my goodness, they were almost there to that gate. We are almost there. You know, but what was equally beautiful is uh, what happened, the way that the Lord used my little man again to get my attention and uh, how precise it was, his little hand tapping my heart. Oh, it was so sweet. But I think it was more than just to get my attention to write down the dream. And I, I've thought about this over the past few days. It's also about our hearts. And I know so many brothers and sisters are being given messages about this. It's it's not that we always haven't been. It just seems like there's an overflow of it. And I believe that's because the Lord is so near and he's trying to prepare us and make us ready. Just three weeks ago, I was given a dream and did a video on it that he gave me about cleaning out our hearts and giving ourselves a good heart checkup. And I know many of us will say, oh, I know that, I know that, but it is very very important day before yesterday i did some praying and i in searching of my heart and the lord brought to a forefront something that i had not um looked at that i had not forgiven or let go of i guess i would say i, I had forgiven but maybe not let go of it the way i should have so uh yeah, that him tapping me on my heart was also saying that as well. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Love never fails. Amen to that. Jesus never fails us. We could trip and fall over and over and over again, but he's always there. We just have to reach out to him, and he just pulls us right on up. Amen. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome Savior who died on the cross for our sins. He is, he is our Lion of Judah, and He is coming quickly for us. Very, very quickly. So we need to stay in love and act in love and think in love. And very soon we will live in love for eternity. It's going to be absolutely amazing. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now's the time. He is, speaking of love, He is the greatest love you will ever know. And you are loved so much by Him. I will leave a prayer in the description box below if you just need a little guidance on how to call out to Him. But it's very simple. You don't need a fancy prayer to call out to Him. Just call on him. He's there and he's waiting for you. I love you, brothers and sisters. I will talk to you soon. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye-bye.